Welcome to Rootstem and welcome to a 2000 point. I want us a match play game. It is match play, but we're, again, we're going to be using open play cards to determine the mission. Um, so stick with us, it gets very interesting. So, like I say, this is a 2000 point match play game. We're going to be uh, playing Space Wolves versus Eldar. I'm not calling them Eldar. Well, they are Eldari Craft World, but to me, they are the Eldar. And we've got a mix of new models and old models, including both sides on the Space Wolves and on the Eldar. Uh, oh, yeah. My opponent today is the Space Wolf himself, Carl. There's a lot of sun glare behind him, so I'm going to move over this side. <laughs> and he has a magnificent Viking beard. There we are. Yes, he did look. In fact, yeah, he did kind of look a bit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be basically creating our mission using these three. We're not going to be using the ruse or twists. So, oh, not the twist, the sudden death cards. But these will be adequate. So, would you like to draw the top card for deployment there, Carl? Yes. That's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Mustard. Oh, interesting. A flanking. All oh, right, okay. We'll figure out who's doing what in a minute. Draw the objective card for us. In the library. Invasion. Players start off, um, players roll off, starting with the winner. They then took turns to set up one objective marker anywhere in their de own deployment zone, more than six inches from any battlefield edge. The player, a, a player wins immediately if they control both objective markers at the end of any of their opponent's turns. Okay. That is quite interesting. What twist do we have? I'll, I'll do this one. I'll do this one. I want to have a card. Double or nothing. Roll a dice, no one to three, no twist cards are being played. On a four to six, two twist cards are being played. Two twist cards are being played. You can now pull a twist card, twist card. Does that include that one that's just been played or another one? No, no, the, yeah. yeah, so grudge match, no morale tests in the game at oh, all. Oh, that makes my warlord trait really, <laughs> really useless now, doesn't it? It was useless at first, but now it's properly useless. I was, I was going to take an avatar as well. I'm so <laughs> glad I didn't. <laughs> right, and then the second twist. Eager for the fight. Add two inch to the move characteristics of all models and one to the advance and charge rolls. I'm versing Space Wolves. This is... Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is probably not going to end well. Right, 50-50 uh, then. I'll just grab one of your dice, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, one to three... I am in the middle. Four to six, I am the ones that's on the edges. I am ambushing you, so you're going to be in the centre, sir. Very interesting. Right, let's have a look at some armies. Right then, Carl, just describe to me your space walls. Da -da -da. Oh. <laughs> you sound so excited. <laughs> I hope a Psychic Awakening book doesn't come out by the time this comes out, to be honest with you, it makes all these rules useless. Well, I've already got a useless rule now, haven't I? Well, yeah. yeah Three yeah. squads, ten marines. Yep. Uh, a very wolf. Grey hunters. hunters. The Grey Hunters. And you've got your pack leader and wolf guard pack leader, so technically nine marines in those. Okay. Two plasma guns in each, and as we said earlier, yep. one per five models, but they count as one of your models. Oh, so really? It's yeah, it's now included in the Right, thing. okay. Uh... Power weapon, in case I forget. Yep. Pat Lee's have got power weapon. They've got frost weapons, no. but it's thunder hammers. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. All each with a rhino. Ten man wolf guard terminators. Yep. Six thunder hammers. Four wolf claws. Okay. Wolf claws, not lightning claws. Are they different? Yeah, yeah, it's wolf claws. Oh, it's right. just like plus one, basically. Oh, on to the AP. I'll go, I'll go over that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's just like the, the next one up. Yep. Ten squad of wolfen. Okay. Uh, two Various. frost axes, yeah, two frost, ax frost axes, two, four, six, seven, seven thunder hammer storm shields, and one guy with wolf claws. I'm guessing that's why you've not got a lot in your arm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's where the point is, right there. And this guy. And, oh yeah, these Bjorn, two special characters. Yeah, Bjorn. Uh, they've both got Saga of Majesty, so it doesn't matter which one's got it. This guy's the Warlord Logan, yep. so he's got Saga of Majesty. The most fucking useless... <laughs> trait now that he's got which is he automatically passes morale test a yep. character automatically passes morale test and his aura abilities are extended by three inches if he acquires his 
target, which is kill the enemy warlord, yeah. then that applies to everything within 12, I think it's 12 inches, I'm sure it is, within 12 inches of it. With the so twist, that's, really so that, with the twist, that is a doubly useless rule now, apart from the extra three inches. Yeah, 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 that's a pretty good one though. Yeah, yeah I enjoy that pretty, a bit, yeah, 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 but yeah. the yeah. chance of that actually happening... Yeah. Of killing the enemy warlord with that guy, yeah, 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 yeah. is yeah. is not very yeah. high, really. Uh, standard rhinos, by the way. Yeah, right, and then Bajon the oh, he's, Yeah, he's got a frost cannon. Yeah, so I'm going to try it's that not on him. WYSIWYG, we know. Yeah, but yeah, he's, he's literally the only game. thing in this army that's not WYSIWYG at the minute. Right, yep. I'm going to try it out, see how it works, and yep. change him accordingly. No problem. That's that. There we go. Two thousand points. And some useless warlord traits. Right. <laughs> Double, <laughs> useless warlord traits. Double useless warlord traits. Double useless warlord traits. I take like the you... three inch. I don't like the morale thing. No. And since it doesn't really apply in this game, it doesn't matter, yeah, does it? Yeah, it's just... Yeah, right. Let's go over to... Uh, <laughs> two twists. Let's go over to Elder. So this is 2,000 points of Elder from the Bale Tan. And I've taken... I've got two battalions, so I've actually got quite a lot of command points, which I might need in this game. Because if he's going to have an extra two inch to all of his <laughs> movement and an extra inch to all of his charge rolls, it means I'm going to be charged by Space Wolves quite a lot. Right, starting with the HQs, we've got four HQs down here. We've got two Warlocks. This one here has Protect uh, slash Jinx, and he's going to keep the Warlock version of Smite. And this one has Quicken and Restrain, also keeping the Warlock version of Smite. I've also got my homemade Azraman, because I am not having a fine cast one. Um, so that's basically been modified from a metal Autark and I actually got it like that from a friend when I bought his Eldar. Then we've got my Warlord. This is a Farseer. It's got uh, Doom Guide and I'm taking the Focus Willpower from Runes of Fortune. They've updated that so it's not just a plus two to be denied a Witch Rolls, it's a plus two to casting. That's always a good thing. Backing those up is three squads of rangers. Yes, these are original metal ones, which I need to repaint badly. And those were purchased second hand, so I need to repaint them quite badly. Badly. A uh, bit of both. <laughs> just like blot up all the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really just you know, do it, do it proper old school because they are metal ones. Dip it in the paint pot. They are metal ones, so I'm just going to dip them into emulsion and uh, see what happens from there. Backing up some more troop choices, we've got. 19 guardians with a weapon platform i've uh, been using seeing what guardians can do a lot in this beltans reroll ones on there to hit it's quite interesting and since the need freeze anyway it means that you can are hitting quite often these here uh, are two squads of dark Re uh, dire avengers i'm going to say dark reapers two squads of 10 wow a bit amazing if i could uh two squads of uh, dire avengers now the dire avenger x sharp for both of these is going to take blade storm uh, from the runes book uh, Psychic Awakening book, sorry Which basically means on an unmodified hit roll of a six I get an additional hit with shuriken weapons uh, These two squads is just two five-man units of old-school metal as you can possibly see some of the paint may have actually been chipped off Which I need to sort my elder army is very old ladies and gents They are actually both running the howling banshee one of um Grateful Avoidance, which basically gives them a 5-up feel, no pain in close combat. Starting to get into the heavy section, I've also got a unit of Fire, uh, not fire Dragons, Dark Reapers. God, I'll get them right today. Their x shot is going to take Rapid Shot, so he's basically got a heavy 2 rocket launcher, backing up the rest. Hopefully going to be able to try and take some of Carl's out before he charges everywhere. Filling out some of the heavy support slots, we have a fire prism with a shuriken cannon and hollow fields, sorry, spirit zones, and a classic fire prism. I actually purchased this when it was released many, many moons ago. It's been repainted several times and possibly needs repainting again. It's very heavy on that metal cannon, and that's also got a shuriken cannon, and it's also got spirit stones. As you can see, it's a convert shuriken cannon because it's upside down. Uh, two transports, so we've got two wave serpents, both with bright lance, both with bright lance, and both with shuriken cannon. They've also both got spirit stones. And uh, finishing off, rounding it all off, I have taken my night wing interceptor. It comes with all the standard kit, so there's nothing special about that. But I do like using it. I like using it better than the crimson hunters because I don't feel that when I use this, I'm cheating. And I did think Carl might have been taking his flyer, which would have been nice to have a flyer versus flyer battle, but there we are. Right, 
let's uh, let's ro we'll roll to see who's going to set up. We'll get all set up and we'll bring you back in uh, at the deployment phase. Sorry, my warlord trait is the Beltan Natural Leader. And the relic that I'm taking is the Spirit Stones of Afanlan, I think. And we're going to be giving it to him. So he's going to be able to reroll quite a lot. And of course, give a lot of... Because uh, he's got Guide and Doom. Uh, so he's going to be able to give out a lot of rerolls. Okay, we have deployed. Uh, we've got a unit of guardians down here with a warlock with the protect. Fire prism. Some dark reapers. Another fire prism. Two units of banshee with the warlock with quicken. We've got uh, grey hunters in Three rhinos. Squad of and another squad of grey hunters in rhino. Another squad of grey hunters in rhino. And Bjorn, who I believe is he a character? He is a character, yeah. How many wounds does he have? Ooh. Well, have a look, because I bet I can't target him. Right, no, and then, then we've got a unit of snipers, some rangers, Nightwing, which might try and go for Bjorn, if I can target it. Eight. Eight, Eight so. Wounds, so, yeah. <laughs> and he's got character keyword. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, right, so another unit of snipers. They might have to shoot Bjorn, then, because <laughs> it's got snipers. And then two units of uh, wave serpents. They've both got the... Uh, Dire Di Revengers in that one, Dire Revengers in that one, uh, Azraman, I believe, and then the Farseer Warlord there. I've also got a unit of Rangers in reserve, because they did change the rules on how they can deploy. And Carl does have several units in reserve as well. He's got Logan, he's got Tol Grim now. Since we don't get any points for Warlord kills, it doesn't really matter. Uh, he's also got these. Spare a command point for this lot to be in. What have we got? Like an outflank position. Yeah, it's basically outflank. It's cutting yeah. the wolf, but it's basically outflank. Flank. And then those lads there, which that might not really come into it. With. Well, it might do, to be honest. Yeah. Turn two, it might do, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then those lads are deep striking in. Right. Carl got his units down first since he's got a hell of a lot less than me. So he's going to get a plus one. So you might as well roll the dice, sir. Plus one, we are going to use the rules from the 20, 20, 17 chapter approved, I believe. So he's got five, that makes it a six. I need a six to draw. Force a reroll. No. Close. Close. But I do want first turn, so I am going to try to seize. No. Right, okay. So, Space Wolves, you're going first. Oh, dear. <laughs> Right, Carl's moved his rhinos up. So this rhino's gone up here. This rhino's moved back a little bit. And this rhino's gone there. And Bjorn has hidden away from the snipers. Because <laughs> now he knows snipers can shoot him. So he's like, no, I'm going to hide. So, that's fine. Right then, sir, are you going to do any shooting to begin with? Uh, Some stone bolters, maybe? This rhino's not. And that rhino's not. <laughs> You're not firing any I'm depending on whether I want to launch smoke launches or not. Oh, good point. Yeah. Good play. Right, so Carl is not shooting. All three of these lads here <laughs> have so, gone pop, pop, pop with some like smoke. It's a bad thing or something. So it's going to be minus one to hit them, apart from the Dark Reapers, because we've already explained Dark Reapers. Yes, you applied a minus one, but if it's a three up, <laughs> it's anyway. Uh, any of his frost cannon? What's his frost yeah, cannon? Yeah, he's going to shoot then, at these guys down here. Oh, right. It's two it squads can, of five. Yeah. So you're shooting the closer ones. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And what's the range of the frost cannon? Uh, 24 inches. It's just within range. Just within range. Right. That's good to know. Good to know. And uh, what does it need to hit? What does it need for? It's heavy D3. It's heavy plus. D3. Plus. Uh, but it's heavy. Does he? Can he move and fire heavy weapons without penalty? Uh, no, but minus one, wouldn't it? It would, yes, sir. Yeah, so it's three plus. Free up then. So one shot. Yeah. Needing a three. It's hit. What's the strength of the said weapon? Six, minus two, and one. So you need twos to wound then, sir. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> do, it. do it. Beginning well. <laughs> beginning. Beginning very well here. Right, um, um yeah, that's that's the end of Space Wolf Turn <laughs> One there. So, so they're done. Uh right, um Elder Turn One then. So at the end of my movement and psychic phase, these lads have stayed still. I managed to cast Protect on them, so I get plus one to their saving throws. 
Five Prisms have stayed still. The Dark Reapers have stayed still. The Howling Banshees moved forward with an advance because of the extra inches. One moved forward 17 inch, one moved forward 16. And then this Warlock here played Quicken on the unit that moved 16. And they're now around here, near this objective. If you remember the rules, at the end of any of my opponent's turn, if I'm still holding that objective, I instantly win the game. So I'm hoping Carl's going to not just sack it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two wave serpents have moved up there. None of the lads for me inside have got out. And then I've got a unit of rangers down here, which has moved forward. They've run, so I can't fire. And then the second unit of rangers is holding back there, just to try and maybe try and shoot up this rhino if it can. And the night wing has, because it can vector move. Its wings of cane allows it to 90 degree twice. So it's moved twice. It's still just going to be having the five up in vulnerable save. And it's going to be looking at that lovely rhino, I think, down there. Right, let's get some shooting on. So starting with... These lads, they're going to open fire against the smoke launched rhino. He is touching the terrain and he is at least 50% obscured from majority of the fibers. We just get, yeah, you're just obscured. So he's going to get a cover save. Now, I do need freeze to hit and the Mechanicus dice in my hand will be representing the fast shooting or shoot twice X shot. So I need freeze. Ooh, so two misses. Uh, yeah, I'm using the strength eight missiles, of course. So I'm going to need freeze to wound. All of them have wounded. So, them three are straight three damage. That one's D6 damage. So Carl's going to have to roll on them first. It's a minus of two, so it would need fives normally. Plus one for the cover. It's needing fours. These are ones for straight three. One's got through, so he suffered three damage so far. And then there's a D6 damage coming in. So, roll to save for one with D6 damage. And he's saved. I'll be honest, majority of them would have saved even if he wasn't in cover. So he's lost three wounds. He should now be down to seven. Right, lands from down here next. Again, trying to pop the rhino. I need a four because of the... Ah, smoke launchers. Damn you, smoky smoke. <laughs> I failed to hit. Right, these two are going to open fire into this vehicle. So one at a time. I've got the first one. Two bright lances plus shuriken. That's going to go in. That's coming from here. Now, the thing is, the shuriken, the, the bright lance are going to need fives. The shurikens are going to need fours, but I can reroll the ones. So the fives, of course, will be on the Mechanicus dice. Two ones. So I managed to get one hit. <laughs> Needing a five or six. I got a five, Cal. Uh, you're not 50% obscured from that angle, so you stand the down of three. And then rinse, repeat with the second wave serpent. I'll not do it on that tail that time. Oh my god. One hit again. <laughs> ah, one wound of a six. Now you are 50% obscured from the fire of air, so you're going to need a five or six to save, sir. Nope. Oh, so you've lost. So, so far, my amazing elder shooting has managed to knock off four wounds. So, fire river snipers, they did a mortal wound on this rhino. And then this guy here is actually going to open fire into the rhino down there. Now we've got two bright lances which are going to need fives. And we've got six shuriken cannon shots. I will double check though the ballistic skill on this. So I've checked it is ballistic skill three. So I've got three hits because it's four hit him at the moment. And no wounds with the shuriken. It simply bounces off. These rhinos are seem to be impregnable. Now, onto the fire prisms. I was going to link fire, but I think four, <laughs> four massive shots into my face is just going to annihilate it too much. So I'm going to go in one at a time. So this fire prism is going to open fire. Two shots, needing fours into the rhino. One hit. Its strength is redonkulous, I believe. Well, I'll roll anyway. Yeah, it's going to be wounded on that regardless, because it's at least 10 or more. Yeah. It's a minus of 4, so... Or is it more than that? Minus of 5, so even in cover, he's got no save. Damage is a 5. So he's going to be down to 2. And I've got 3 shuriken cannon shots coming in. They all hit. Needing 5s. None of them wounded! So that means I'm going to have to waste the firepower of this one. 
Try and pop that tank. So a fire of a shuriken cannon into the vehicle. No wounds. Got a couple of hits. But here comes the fire prism again. Focus beam. Two hits. Oh, two frees needed. No! <laughs> Dude. Got to be a command point. I've got Dude. to pop something. Thank God for that. Dude. <laughs> D6 damage is where I roll another one here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, three. He's so he's gone. It doesn't matter if he explodes because there's nothing around him, but he has got ten men on the inside. So ten dice, sir. Any ones. So, yeah, just roll ten D6. Any ones uh, will be a death. Oh, no. Any ones. Do you want to re-roll any of them? Well, re-roll one of them, or are you alright taking four casualties? Uh, it was a one, by the way, Lynn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not the other. Yeah, command point one of them. Command points one. Oh! <laughs> Carl's down now to seven command points compared to my 12, because I did take two battalions. So he's lost four men. That was actually a decent shot then, I suppose. But he is going to dismount. Right, this has actually opened up a very... Random situation, Carl's got out this side. I thought he might have been heading out that way, but he's got out this side. I'm looking now at maybe trying to charge him with these Banshees. Now, I'm still just going to keep these Banshees hidden here because he's going to have to waste firepower and manpower on them if I don't move them. Because if I charge him, Bajor and I basically think it's going to make short work of them. Just be like, nah, I'm just going to chew you up and munch you up. Whereas these lads might not be able to, and they're down to six models left. So, this lot is going to charge them. And he can't overwatch because of the Banshee masks. So, basically I'm in three, so it's a minus two. I get a plus three, which means that it's a plus one to the charge. And the rules that we're using means it's a plus two to charge. So, they're definitely in. Because <laughs> that's a four, <laughs> that's a six. There's not six inch there. All right, so combat then. Mechanicus dice for the X shark with the execution. I'm going to look, need three to hit. A mm, couple of misses. And then I'm going to need fives on the white, fours on the Mechanicus. So, but let's bench these down. But that's still a good, good shout out there. I'm not sure if that's minus three or minus two, but at the moment it's four saves with minus three because of, uh, yeah, power swords. Might be a squad going down. Oh, that's another four. And then another one save. Roll to save. If you get a yeah. five, we'll check the die. We'll check the thing. He got a six. So I believe he's still saved anyway, because it's not more than at least a three. So he has lost four men from the power swords, but he managed to save against the executioner. So it's the pack leader with the power sword that's fighting first. He's got two attacks, plus one for being charged. He's also going to get plus one to hit for being charged as well, because of space walls. Go on then, sir. You need twos. All hit. You're going to need threes, because I'm very weak. So oh, okay. that will be free. Now, this is just a power sword. So minus a three. It's going to go on the ladies. No save, but it's one damage apiece. Now, the X shark power is graceful avoidance, meaning I'm allowed five up, feel no pain. So it kills one of the ladies. She goes down. Now it's a thunder hammer. Graceful avoidance is going to be. Uh, it's a minus one, but a plus one to the hit. So he's going to need freeze. It's all right, it's a one, so even, yeah. yeah, so that's good. So, but now he needs two for killing. Two, now, because it's a damage of three, this weapon, I would need three fives and sixes. Nope. And then three fives and sixes. <laughs> Which doesn't matter, I failed one. Right, so that's another two ladies gone. Phew. And normally we'd be going, oh, morale might be an issue, mm -hmm. but no morale at all in this particular game. Thank goodness for my warlord trait. <laughs> oh, yes, warlord <laughs> trait. Mm. I, like I said, mate, I was going to take an avatar. It's a good job yeah. I didn't, really. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's immune to morale. They are anyway. Right, that wasn't, that was kind of a successful turn in the end there. The shooting initially wasn't that great, but I managed to get rid of a rhino and majority of one of these squads. But... He has hurt my Banshees. One of the Banshee squads is now down to two peeps. This Banshee is probably not going to exist. And he's got three units that he can bring on from reserve if he wants to. Two of them are quite naughty, quite nasty. So I'm hoping me being in trees might help. 
But well, it might not do. Right then, sir. Space Wolves, turn two. So, the Terminators have come careening down with Logan. Then we've got these guys infiltrating round the back. Uh, I couldn't, I didn't really spread myself out too much, but wanted to make a game of it. And then this lot's got out here as well. Nice game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am monetized, Carl. Just <laughs> <laughs> you need, to, you need to watch the swearing. Watch. I Not too much. Yeah. Oh, and back into the room. <laughs> there we go. So Bajorn's moving up. I'm guessing that these wolf guard here, these grey hunters here, are possibly thinking they can take care of these little little ladies. Might not be able to, but I believe there's probably more of them around that objective, which will supersede me anyway. So he's already got it, even if he doesn't charge. Right. And the rhino has stayed still. I think he's trying to block stuff. Looks like you're trying to block. Are you trying to block? No. Like he's blocking. Right. So, what are you shooting with first, then, sir? Uh, just going to call him Arjak, then. Logan into... Oh, right, yeah. Logan's down here, he's isn't down he? down there, hiding. Yep. Into this group of... Into the group of guardians. Right here. Guardsmen. The guardsmen. Guardsmen. <laughs> into the group of guardsmen. Guardian guardsmen. Twos. Yeah, and he's twos with re-rolls, because he's a chapter master. I believe he gets that. And what's your toughness? Toughness is three, so you're going to need four a freeze to, to wound. And he's got two wounds on there, no minuses. So I'm on five normally, plus one for the power, meaning it's four, plus one for the cover, meaning that I'm actually on freeze. I've turned my guard, guardsmen into uh, space marines. Well, this is a battle, actually, because of the toughness. Bjorn's now going to open fire. He's going to fire a focus beam from his ice weapon. Into this vehicle, plus his heavy flamer. I have played lightning fast reactions on that uh, vehicle to make it minus one to hit. Uh, for this phase only. So, Oh, hey. he got a one, but Beyond can reroll ones. He can, can I? So, I just said that as well. Uh, which would actually mean it's twos normally, minus one for moving, minus one for my ability is fours. It's a hit. What's the strength of the weapon, sir? Strength eight. She's going to need a three against toughness seven. It's wounded. Minus That's... four, D6. Oh, damage. minus four. Can't save. So it does one, one. wound. And... Unsaved, unsaved, unsaved. So that's for the spirit stones. So it is an unsaved hit, and he does. If he rolls a d6 and gets a six, he gets a mortal wound as well, which I can again save on a six. No, so I suffer two wounds on the wave serpent. I believe we start with 13. And we've got a heavy flamer coming in. D6 auto hits for another oh. one. God damn it, Cal, your dice are terrible. They fucking are. They? <laughs> Five's to wound. Yeah. No wound, So, but I have suffered two. So the, this, raise, this rhino, sorry, has opened fire against the same uh, vehicle, didn't do any damage. And these guys are now going to open fire into the same unit. Carl is firing the plasma first. He's not overcharging because he would explode on ones and twos. There, so that's one hit. And then roll to wound. There we go. That was a cock dice, by the way, was rolling. Uh, it does wound. I need a six. Followed by a six for Spirit Stones. No, so I lose another wound down to ten. And then we've got a flurry of bolters coming in. Forced to hit, re rolling any ones. Three ones there. Cal's dice all right. I can be red, thankfully, on the old told screen. Rolling to wound, he needs fives. Ooh, four. That's pretty good, actually. Four wounds. Needing freeze. I did save them all, though. So the tanks. Wraithbone hide, allow it to bounce off. We've done another Storm Bolter into the Banshees. It completely, um, it, it actually hit, but I did save everything. Now, this lot are going to open fire. We're going to open fire everything into there. Plasma. Two plasmas to begin with, needing fours. So one's hit, he's not overcharging. And it's another wound. I'm going to need a six followed by a six. No. No, so that's another wound down. He's down to nine wounds remaining, and then the Bolters are coming in. Uh, I'll, ooh, just keep your ones to one side. We'll check if you're within six of his own. It was out, so rolling to wound. It does another wound with the bolters. It goes through, but I do hollow. I do spirit stone it. So down to nine, and that is it for Cal shooting. But this is the best bit for Cal here. This is when he charges, and I go. <laughs> so that comes off because it's a phase. 
two command points. I don't know if that was well worth it. Although, actually, yeah, because there was a lot of threes, actually, that you had to discard there. Right, charging. So for those at home, we've had multiple charges down here. All this slot's gone into the tank. All this slot's gone into here. And then here... Carl did some amazing re-rolls. His wolf and abilities allowed his Terminators to re-roll. They managed to barrel in. Because if he didn't have that re-roll, they wouldn't have been getting there. And the wolf and themselves managed to barrel in. And then I forgot, I can't use Celestrian Shield in the fight phase. But, Toad Logan down here, Logan Toad Isolated Grimnar, has gone, uh, I'm on my own. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, I'm on my own. I'm retiring. This is, this is not going to end well for me, I don't think. So, which one are you going to go with first? Terminators, well, he has declared yeah. the Terminators first. We've already done the three-inch consolidation with them. So, Thunderhammer's first, sir. Needing freeze because of his plus one, minus one. And he's already plus one attack. I think they're outside of Logan's range as well. Yeah, so no re-rolls. I'll be honest, that's going to be a lot of dead men. Uh, yeah, no, not so well. No, no, you need twos. Thunder hammers. So, yeah. Is that right? You... You've taken a two off. No, no, no. Was, no. That two was a, actually a two, and that wasn't was a one. So you've got three, six, eight dead. Do you want to go with your lightning claws? Yeah. There's 19, 20 models actually to get through. 21 because the platform's got two wounds. But... So that's eight normal guardians dead. So this is where we come a bit weird. So you need twos with this one. Oh, fuck it. Freeze to wound with a reroll. Oh, yeah, you sergeant. Yeah. Jeebus. How many is that, sir? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven dead. Well, no. We've got to save. We've got to save. Right, so I've got the amount of wounds here. I've got the platform. Which is on a three up armor save. Minus for two makes it a five. Plus the one for the protect makes it a four. So. Oh, God. <laughs> so the platform's dead. <laughs> Damn it. Platform's dead. And then this lot needing six. Nope. That's nine plus eight. <laughs> so to interrupt Carl's slaughtering. I'm going to spend two command points and go with these guys. So there's two Banshees left in this unit against this lot. Now they're not going to, they would be able to fight before me normally. So if I spend two and fight with them first, these are kind of dead. There's no real point in, or do I? Do I go with them instead? Now there's still enough men to be able to kill them. So I'm going to go with these. Needing freeze. Oh, one. One normal blade, needing a five. It's wounded. Carl needs a six to save. No. So I'm guessing the sergeant dies, not the wolf guy pack leader. And then he's probably going to mush both of them. So I've gone with them. Carl has then got, because I actually killed all of this lot down here. So he's had to go with the wolf, in, which is then three inch consolidated, and then three inch uh, piled, three inch piled in, then three inch consolidated. So he's not managed to fight with them. So there's still two Guardians left, and if it wasn't for Grudge Match, they would probably, after losing 18 models, they'd be gone. Yeah. <laughs> Without spending... But Grudge Match basically does now. Now I'm fine. So, which one next then, sir? We'll do these guys. I'm going to do these guys against the Banshees. Try to get rid of the Banshees. So going with the normal guys first. Two, one attack apiece, one for Chainsword, one for Charging. Needing twos to hit. There's a couple of ones. They're not within six of beyond. There's another one there, sir. Just, yep. just there. And now he needs freeze to wound. I have a funny feeling these are going to disappear. Ouch. 14 hits. 14 wounds, sorry. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six at least. They're all dead, Dave. So the next lad, Bajon, he's got five attacks on profile plus one for his charge, being Faith Marine. Needing twos, re-rolling the ones because he's within six inches of himself. That's all hit. Needs threes to wound. Re-rolling the wounds for True Claw. 
Good job there, Cal. Yeah. <laughs> for four. I can't stop these because they're a minus of four. D6 damage each. D6 damage of a piece. I will check my serpent shield. Right. So he's got 12 wounds on me from the dice roll. 12 feel no pains of six, as it were. I need four of them. Ah, oh, no! Only two. So that will be three, six, nine, ten wounds that's got through. Now, <laughs> I'll be honest, if I explode, that's going to be epic. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it goes boom! So the tank is exploding, taking all, hitting all of this. So it's D3. I am using a D3 dice. I have to explain this every time I use these dice because people go, oh no, you rolled a two, so therefore that would be a one. No, it's a D3 dice, so it's actually one to three. So against my own vehicle, suffers two wounds. I'll roll for the um, stones in a moment. Carl's vehicle suffers three wounds. That is now down to six. Bjorn. Suffers a wound. Three. No, you you're on um I was on six. Oh you was on six, yes you was, sorry. Beyond suffers a single wound, so he's gonna be down to seven. Uh five plus feel no pain. Two. Two, so he's wounded. And then the this camera's shaking because it's like I'm furiously masturbating on there, but I'm not. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Three mortal wounds against the squad. So three of those lads are gonna perish. Okay, so I've put the lads out. It was, I didn't lose any from the explosion, but three inches and an inch away from an enemy unit means I've actually lost two because I couldn't put the rest of the, the other two models down. He nearly had me surrounded there. Damn. So we've, Carl's fought back over there. I fought back over there as well and did no casualties. He's played three command points to allow his Terminators to attack these guys again. So, yeah. He's now claimed our objective. Carl has this one. He has that one. I have messed up in a very big way there, thinking I had Celestia and Shield for combat. Because free up in vulnerable save would have changed that completely down there, to be honest. It really would have. I would have had more Guardians alive. Holding you up. That was the idea, and it didn't work. <laughs> so, to Logan looking on, it looks like if I don't get Carl off one of his objectives this turn... Because what I could do is annihilate this squad. And if I annihilate that squad, it means he's not holding the two objectives at the end of my phase. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> That's when it's like, because that one might be really hard to try and annihilate everybody. Annihilating them uh, might be a different story. Let's do All right, it. Let's, let's, uh, let's go into Eldar turn two. So, ladies and gents, right. In the movement slash psychic phase, these guys have shimmied about a bit. The tank has fallen back, but still in, not enough to disrupt its two shots, because it's got the fly keyword. He's moved round a little bit. Cast the power jinx onto these, so they're going to be minus one to their saving throws. I tried to smite this fellow off the board, thinking he only got one wound left, but completely forgot Carl, which I didn't record, in the last turn played Lone Wolf, which means that he's now got four, uh, three wounds, because uh, he's on his own and I perils and then I did a reroll and perils again and nearly killed my warlock which would have meant pretty much all of them there would have probably disappeared if that war <laughs> would have died but it's not what happened so he's down to two wounds now these appeared from out of the webway they're ready and waiting um I that tank just well the flyer just moved down the road I have cast doom on these so I'm going to be re-rolling the wounds those Dire Avengers got out of that tank and ran round. The extra inches helping, to be honest. And then the Farseer played um, Guide on them. Uh, no, yep, they played Guide on them, so they're re-rolling to hit. Uh, as Roman's in the middle of that lot, uh, that unit has fallen back. And that unit, the Farseer has passed on the Warlord trait, uh, allowing that to re-roll the to hit rolls. And then they still got my Rangers, which didn't really move. Because I'm probably going to try and take some pot shots at whatever's going to be left. So, I'm going to start over here. I might start over there. Come back to this one. <laughs> but I think actually I'm going to start with some pistol shots. Right, Dire Avengers opening up now. Freeze to hit. Don't forget I've got Blade Storm. 
So re-roll any fails because of guide. It's quite a few fails. It's a good job guide was on there, if I'm honest. I did we did the pistols off camera and he's down to one wound now. Right. And then how many sixes? Wow. So that's one, two. So an extra five. So in actual fact, I have hit more times than I have shot. <laughs> Very effective. Force to wound. Reroll all fails. Ooh. Again, quite a lot of fails. Right, let's get these together. Right, so I've got seven normal armor saves, eight minus three. Carl rolling the seven normal armor first. Oh! Ooh. That's six down. And then yeah, he's got not. eight minus three, but he has got thunder hammers. Uh, so he's got storm shields, so it's up to him how he allocates these. So, eight saves you're going to do. Three up, yep. Yep. So one sergeant, I'm guessing, is down. Yeah, yeah. So, you've still got your Wolfguard Battle Leader with... Is it the Wolfguard no, Battle? Oh, no, it was, Wolfguard, was the Wolfguard. Pat, Pat Leader's he's the one shield. shield. The no other problem. guy's not, so he's just a regular saves. So, these are regular well, saves. Six, isn't it? Uh, sixes, yeah. So, that's another five added to the six earlier. Yeah. Plus him dead. That's the squad gone. Oh, it's looking promising for a second attack. Wow, that was some serious shooting. So I'm spending two command points on these guys for feigned retreat. They're going to open fire into these lads here. They're still going to storm shield in that squad as well. So I'm going to need freeze to hit reroll in the ones due to shuriken. Wow. If it weren't for the rerolls, I won't be getting many hits here. That's not as good as their uh, cousins next door. Needing fours, no rerolls. So, definitely not as good. So that's four normal saves and one minus three. Four normal. Another two down, though. And who are you putting this minus three on? Is it Because there is a storm shield in there, but there's a chance if you put it on him and he fails, he dies. Yeah, I'll put it on anyway. Yeah. He's fine. So, but you did lose another two men, guy. Right, going on to this wave serpent here now. He's lost another two guys. A shuriken cannon's going into them. The bright lancers are going into the rhino. So Shuriken Cannon first. This can re-roll hits because of the uh, tactical precision, I think it's called. Freeze to wound. Two wounds, two normal armor saves there, Carl, on your infantry. You can do them over there, so and just yell out the results. Uh, one save. One save, so another one goes down. Two shots then into the Rhino. One misses, re-roll. Still misses. I need a three to damage it. I got a six. And then D6 damage, because it's minus four, so no save. Ah, one! <laughs> Takes the rhino. <laughs> Bloody hell. Takes it down to two. Nightwing's opening up now. The shuriken cannon's going into this particular tank. The bright lancer's going into the other tank. Shuriken cannon. The cannon shots first. Rerolling any ones. Uh, I've only rolled five dice, so... <laughs> I should have been rolling six. I'll re-roll one of them, and that's still a miss. So I do need fives and sixes to wound. I got one armor save, sir. Just normal armor, no modifiers. On you renew. Six. Six, which is a save. Two bright lancers needing fours into the other one. One hit, needing a three. That's a four. That's wounded. So D6 damage, no save because it's minus four. And I got five, which is what I should have got the other way around. So five. So that rhino's down now to three wounds remaining. Rangers at the top of the Mechanicus little building are going to actually fire down into this vehicle. Uh, they have just appeared, so they're going to need fours to hit. Which would be four of them. That's pretty good. I am going to need fives and sixes to wound now. Six is preferable. None. Oh. So moving on to another unit of Rangers, because I have checked these. They can't see. Great, because of the obscuring line of sight and we're using cameras, we're not using true eye because otherwise you can see. Right, so that's five shots there. They're firing into Logan down there. So, needing freeze to hit. Wicked, two. <laughs> doing well, doing well. I don't know what Logan's toughness is, but I'm guessing it's four. 
One armor save, sir. No modifiers. Two plus. Yep. Six. <sighs> so the Dark Reapers, they're going to shoot into the Terminators. They're going to use Star Swarm missiles on the main one and the rocket launcher wielding guy. I'm actually going to go... No, I'm not, because if I go with plasma missile, you're going to get a two-up armor. So he's going to go with the crack missiles. So, normal shots first. Need him freeze. Jesus, that wasn't good. Freeze again. That's still very bad. Only two wounds. Two, right, it's normally three up invulnerable, but it can... Well, it's four up armor, four up invulnerable, so just roll them and then you can allocate. So one does die because it's a two damage. And then all the two crack rockets. Both of them hit. Both of them wound, sir. Again, needing your fours. So one goes through causing three wounds. So you've lost two Terminators. Right, down to the last few units. The fire prisms are going to spend a command point to link fire. They're going into the Terminators. I'm doing the middle profile. Don't know what it's called, but it's the one where it's 2d3 shots. I'm going to go with this one first because it moved. So 2d3 shots. One each, because I'm using the d3s. Doing very well, thank you. Needing fours, but I've got re-rolls, but I don't re-roll the threes, because you apply the re-rolls after. So two hits. Um, I'm not sure what strength is, so I'll roll and then check. Right, I'm going to have to check. So it's strength nine minus four. Carl is taking the hit on a storm shield. It's just one save, sir. Needing four up. He's done it! Oh, yeah. That's why. The second... I'll do the shuriken cannon in a minute. The second fire prism will fire in. Two D3 shots. For four shots this time. This one needs freeze because it didn't have to move. So freeze to hit with rerolls. Do you know what? I completely forgot. I forgot I can reroll that wound from him because of the link fire. So I'll add... So I'll do that now, which is still a one, so it's failed. <laughs> so... Needing twos. Right, so that's three wounds. So again, it's up to you where you want to allocate these, sir. These are a minus four and D3. Are we all going on thunder hammers? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Forced to save. No. So he's failed all of them. Now it's D3 damage, so it might be saving grace. I might. I've got three in my hand. First one is a two, so that'll kill one. Second one is a two, which will also kill another. These are D3 dice, by the way. And a three, so I do manage to kill another three Terminators there. Plus one, four, no, yep. Another three Terminators. And I fired the Shuriken Cannon off camera and did no damage. But it, that uh, minus one to your save has managed to reduce the squad to half. Still not enough to knock you off your objective. I think it's going to come down to how many of these tanks and guys around here are going to survive Wolf and Chargers. I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> now he's, uh, Carl did think he had that then. Oh, yeah. He did fit both all that. Objective's not claimed by anybody, it's not claimed by both people. It needs to be within three inch of the centre. Uh, tourist tanks are a bit knackered down here. Some of our infantry are hurt. I'm not charging. I'm going to let him eat Overwatch. Because I the Dire Avengers do Overwatch on fives and sixes. And then these snipers are not really doing much. But, I'm in the middle of the board. I'm on the outskirts. He's managed to break out at one point. He's breaking out at the other point. Let's go into, it's only a five turn game, so let's go into Space Wolves, turn three. All right, so Carl's advanced these wolf and they've gone plowing round here. They're probably going to mess up some of these. The Terminator's just consolidated, licking the wounds really, they've lost half the men there. Some uh, horrible shooting. Logan's going to come up, he wants to smash stuff with his, am with his big axe. And then of course, uh, oh, actually... So we forgot to do that. He's just wailed on both of them, even though they tried to wail on him, but they failed to wound him. I would have actually probably killed him if I would have hit him, but hit back, and now he's after that Psyker. So, synopsis, they've kind of retreated a bit, trying to get to within that objective. Um, he's got two units of troops down here bearing down on him, so he's like he's quite conscious of what's going to happen down there. And like I say, all this lot charging. So, Logan Grimnow is going to fire first. He's opening fire with his Storm Bolter, so he's a Terminator. So he's got four shots at that range, needing twos to hit. Oh, minus one. It's all right, you can re-roll. Minus one to hit due to the, them being rangers. So he's hit three times, and he needs threes to wound. Oh, now five normally. Minus. 
sorry, plus two, no minus, because of cover, because of course I've got range of cloaks. So one survives and one goes down. Pop. So beyond spooling up his frosty weapon, is and he going into the... Flamer. Uh, in red. And his heavy flamer, uh, eight inches into the uh, Dark Reapers, uh, sorry, Dire Avengers. Although Dark Reapers, Martin. Is he going to do heavy flamer first? D6 auto hits. Can I come on point? Yeah, I'll come on point. He's coming point in that. Oh, that's definitely a real good use of a command point there. So he needs freeze to wound. That's four. Now, normally it's a four up armor, plus one for the cover, minus one for that, so it'd be fours, or a four up invulnerable save. So either or is the same. Oh no, I lost two Dire Avengers. And is he firing his other frost cannon? Yeah, same, same thing. D3 shots, is it? It is. He's going to go for the lighter one. Two mm. shots. Needing threes because he's moved, rerolling ones. That's one hit. And uh, strength? Uh, six. Yep, it's definitely wounded on that. I need Minus a two. four up invulnerable, which six. saves. So I still lose two. Up to you. So both, rhino, both rhinos are opening fire into the Dire Avengers. He really didn't like that squad killing. All those marines. This is the closest one needing fours because it's injured. Needing threes to wound. One. And a four up. Nope, so it takes one out. And the other one needs fives to hit. Gets one. Needing. What have you got? Five. You got five. It's wounded. And actually, I save on that because I'm in cover. Because it's four normal, there is no minus. And it's plus one for cover for their standard armor. So I do lose another one now. The infantry squad now is firing into the same unit. He's got one plasma. It's one hit. Two to wound, sir. Wounded. Might as well duck bolters as well because it's four. Uh, no, actually, I'll. Yeah. Against the plasma, I fail. I die. So that's another one. Four hits with V bolters. Is that? Is there only four? Guys? How many guys left? There's. Well, the other guy's not got a bolter. Ah, it's right, just going to no have a storm shield. Yeah, yeah. And three more wounds, needing threes to save due to the cover. Yes, yeah, so, they, so I'm saving against the bolters, but some of the big weapons are taken. So that's another one out of that squad gone. Right, that is all of Cal's shooting. So we're going to be going into some charges. So, let's charge. All right, so Cal's only charging down here. Uh, these have gone into everything. They suffered a wound on Overwatch due to the feel no pain. They actually didn't get killed. These lads are staying still. I think they're just trying to hold the objective as best as they possibly can. These, though, are going to murderize everyone. So who's going first? You've got multiple combats going on here with this squad, sir. We'll go with the Warlocks. All right, okay, yep. Yeah. Warlock. So yeah. which ones do you want to do first? The Thunder Hammers? Frost Axe. Frost Axe. Give it a chance. No problems. Yeah. Uh, so you've got two attacks on profile, plus one for charging. Three attacks, three attacks on, profile. on profile, plus one for charging. Four uh -huh. attacks. Plus one. Make an additional attack the weapon in turn in which it is charged. Oh, right, for the frost axe. Yeah. Oh, okay. So five attacks with this one fella. That's amazing. Threes. Yep. Now, do you, are you plusing one to hit with that? Because you're a space wolf as well. I am not plusing one to hit with so that. So twos to hit, yep. God, these space wolves do hit hard when they finally get into combat. Strength, five, six, seven. Strength, eight. Twos to wound, mate. Yep. Minus three, D3 damage each. So it's four up rune armor in vulnerable save. So if I get how much two damage? So D3 one D three. Uh, can't save it. No, maybe not. He's dead. Even if you roll three ones, he's yeah. dead. He's gone. Squish. Horrible. So we're going with these four lads next against the vehicle. So the wolf claws are going to try and dig in. So they is he like a sergeant with wolf claws? Yeah. yeah. So he's got four attacks. four attacks plus one for charging. Does and he get plus one? One, one for the wolf claws. So we've got six guys to get a lot of attacks. These lads, aren't they? Yeah. Six attacks then, sir. Uh, plus one to hit. Uh, you are within six of Logan Grimnar for the squad, actually. Uh, nine within Logan Grimnar. Oh, yeah. Plus aura, isn't it? So he gets to reroll everything. Which didn't really matter against him because he was dead. So right. Strength six. Yep. Toughness. Toughness of the vehicle is seven. So we're going to need fives. Oh, that's a fail. Reroll fail wounds. All right, okay. What's the minus, sir? It is minus two. Just one uh, fives. No, and spirit stones. 
five no so i'll do suffer a wound on that one that takes it down to 11. and then we've got two thunder hammers and some axe so what's going to go next then sir uh do the axe again Lucky axe last time. So it was two attacks on profile plus one for three, three attacks, attacks on profile. profile sorry, plus one, plus one for charging, charging plus one for the axe because you charged. Is that correct? That's right. So five attacks. Again, re rolling for Logan because he's within six of a squ uh, nine of a squad. You need plus one to hit, mate, so it's twos to hit. Don't, don't forget your plus one. To I'm reminding <laughs> you, your plus know, one mate, to I hit know. here. I know. Strength. Uh, strength six. No, it's not. Strength. Eight. Eight is freeze to wound then, sir. What's the minus? How come you can get to re-roll that one as well? Great frost axe. Oh, wow. No, no, sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Ah, yep. Four just wounds then, sir. I'm just making it up, don't You me. are. Uh, what's the minus on the great frost axe? It is minus three. D3 damage each. Oh, wow. So I need sixes to start with. I got two. So two's been stopped. Two D3 damage. Carl's using his normal dice. One and two. So, no wounds on a six. No. Which means it suffers another three. Carl's very eager. His thunder hammers are coming in. <laughs> right, so this is his roll to hit. Initially needs threes. He gets to re-roll his fails. So he got two twos. There we go. So he's failed one. This is strength ten. It is. So he's going to need threes to wound. But he doesn't get to re-roll these. Oh, that was a bad, bit of a bad roll there. Three of all, minus a three, needing sixes. I saved one, so that would mean six would go through. Just gonna get my dice together and ignore them on sixes. So I don't ignore any of them, that's a lot of ones, that Paul. <laughs> so I'm down to two wounds remaining on the tank, and it'll be up to Logan to try and finish that off. Now we've got three Thunder Hammers, so that's four, eight, 12 attacks against the Reapers. Needs freeze. And he gets to re-roll all hit rolls. Logan coming in very handy down here, to be honest. Very Two very strong units. And I'm too spread apart to be able to do anything about it. Needing twos. Yep. Uh, I need a lot of sixes. Nine wounds with thunder hammers. Needing sixes. Yeah, all right, pal. <laughs> That's enough to kill all of my Dark Reapers off very quickly. Right, Logan now, after their consolidation, Logan's moved up. He's getting his adamantium claws out. Yeah, here we go, old man, Logan. Twos. Twos to hit. Rerolls. So I have no idea what this axe does. One-handed or two-handed? Go with two-handed. If you go with two handed, it's minus one to the hit roll, but you get a plus one to the hit roll, so it's yeah. still twos to hit. And that was so strength yeah. eight. Yep. Yeah. So freeze. That's all of them. That's the minus. minus three, three damage. <laughs> right. So if I get double number of beasts on this here, I think uh, I think we best start worshiping Satan. <laughs> oh wow! I got two. That's three, six, nine, right, hang on. And you get any sixes there, that'll kill the tank. So, so, here we go, Carl. Oh, <laughs> no, I saw that teeter. I saw, <laughs> I think your heart was in your mouth. It was, for a second, it was, wasn't there, it? Yeah, it was. Right, so, that's that lot gone. They've definitely got this, and beyond a fell handed is holding that objective. And I can't target him unless he is the closest model. So this is going to be tricky. This is going to be very tricky. Right, let's see what I can do. In my oh yeah, just to tell everyone, we did the combat down there. We did actually do a charge down there, which I forgot about, and unfortunately my warlock went smush. So, into Eldar, turn three. So some interesting movement. The Nightwing has decided to extend its wings. That is the target. I still got a minimum move of 20 to do. So that's hurtled across because it could see him and then it's going to get a plus one to hit against those guys. I have played some psychic powers. Them, the redhead plumes are guided. They're doomed because I've had to use a command point to be able to cast that many powers. And uh, I'm playing the reroll, you know, the 
wallow tray on that tank again. I need to try and get rid of that. I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of them. And then I can start shooting and chewing up this guy. That is kind of the plan. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm contesting the objective quite easy. I'm troops, so actually I'm holding the objective compared to Carl. Uh, but he's still holding this one. So I'm hoping he might be able to help with removing some of these. And then these might be able to help with removing some of them. To start with, two sniper teams which move forward. They're going to target this tank with three wounds remaining. Both of them need force to hit because they've moved. Not bad, I'm going to do them both at the same time. That's why I'm rolling ten dice. Actually, I seem to get a better hit percentage when I move with snipers than I do when I stay still with them. Flashback to Unreal Tournament, original. <laughs> Two sixes and a cock dice. So two sixes, so two wounds, needing freeze up and two mortal wounds, sir. There you go. Pain in my absolute rump. These snipers are also going to fire into that one, but these stood still, so I need freeze. <laughs> Told you, I do better when I move. <laughs> one hit. Get a six. No, no wound at all. That tank still lives. As Roman's going to open fire, he's going to fire four shots into the Rhino. Two's to hit. All hit. I needed them to wound. <laughs> Swap some dice around. Fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. Come on. One six, which is a minus of three. Roll to save, sir. He's gone. Do you explode, sir? It's probably where you want to explode. No, do you want the command point to try no. and explode, sir? No. <laughs> so the rhino finally has been removed. Right, these lads here, they're going to open fire into these guys. They've got guide. They are doomed. Uh, just to explain, sorry, this opened fire on the rhino and just got rid of it. They just kind of made it pop. So, freeze to hit. With rerolls. Oh my god. Any sixes are extra hits. So one, two, it's actually an extra five hits. Rolling to wound. Quite a lot of hits there. Needing fours. And then I get to again get to re-roll the fails. Not a lot of fails this time. So that would be four, six. Eight. Wow. So eight normal armor saves, which I'll apply first, and then six with a minus three. So eight normal, needing freeze. Fair Only enough. one. Only one's gone down. So that's them gone. So you've still got three guys left. So I'm guessing you're going to start by putting it on the, fund the storm shield then, sir. Yeah. So six. He's getting six dice in his hand. First one. Pings off. Ping would have pinged off armor. Second one pings off. Pings off armor. Third one pings off. Fourth one, it kills him. So the other two would now need sixes. So that'd be one dead. So basically him and all another gone. two. So yet yeah, they've only just though, all of them have gone this time. Right, these lads here, they're going to split their fire. Two of them are going to try and target him because I'm hoping that this is then closer to this. So I can fire the big cannon into that. And then three of them are going to fire into Bajon. So these two, they're going to fire into him. Needing freeze, re rolling the ones. Nope. Carl's now checking for me. Should have done that before I decided to roll these guys. And then one. Right, it's going to be a tight one, but we'll see whether or not yeah. he dies. He's got one with a minus of three, but he does have a storm shield. How many does Just one. one. Just one. No! Do you want to command point left, it? Yeah, he has only one moon no, left. No, leave it out. So it, the lone wolf there has been obliterated. Now we will have a look to see what I can do with this here. So I did all the shooting. I've done the little bits. He actually deflected and he felt no pain. So even them three, sort of four guys shooting didn't really hurt him. But this thing we've checked, it's four, we've done it even by centimetres to make sure that it was more accurate. 46 centimetres there. 46 centimetres there. So he actually is within... I'm allowed to choose to pick him. Because he's, he's exactly... The same distance away. So Shuriken Cannon is going to go into them, which I'm going to roll for now. Needing freeze, we're rolling ones. And these are toughness of five, so I need freeze to wound. Only one wound. 
And the knot, so it's, well, the wound actually is on one of them with the, fun, with the storm shield, so it has to be, yep. Yeah. And then single shot, needing fours into him. It hits. Strength is 12. It wounds. It's a minus of five, so he can't save. It's D6 damage, but he does get feel no pain. Six wounds, sir. So he is taking a, a slap. Oh my god, he's oh, half of it, half of it ignored. Oh man. Right, Carl's goaded me and I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm charging. Right, he has goaded me. I've gone in. Azraman's going to go in first. Five attacks, needing twos to hit. I knew I'd get one fail. Now, I'm strength of five. I'm going to need fives to wound you. Oh. Only one. It's a minus of three. So I believe you're going to need a six. And it's D3 damage. How many wounds does he have left? Four, isn't it? No, I think he's lost. Or four. Oh, four wounds left. Damn you. Can't kill you. It hits him for three. So three feel no pains. You. My ass. Right, so the second unit to go would be the Dire Avengers, but I don't know if you're going to decide to go with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. So are you going to interrupt then, sir? Yeah. Who are you targeting with your interrupt? Uh, your Dire Avengers. You're going to target the Dire Avengers. Yeah. So, Bajoran gets five, five attacks, attacks on profile, plus one for being charged, means he's got six. He needs twos, and he rolls ones to hit. Oh, okay. Uh, and he needs twos and he re rolls. What? And he re rolls one nine. Yeah. Toughness. Yeah. Oof. Re roll. I think. Three or four. Well, it's a yeah, one again yeah. anyway. <laughs> so so four wounds. Thankfully, they are within six inch of Asmerman. So you have a four Minus. up and vulnerable save. Minus four. So I only lose one Dire Avenger. Not too shabby, actually, that. Just to let you guys know, we did forget uh, about this in the shooting phase. We did it off-camera. I did manage to kill one Terminator. And then those have fought against Bajon and done nothing. So he's still on three wounds. I thought that might have been a bit more successful. But after being goaded, I should have waited. Weathered the storm of fire and then let you charge me and shoot you. Yeah. Never mind. Right. So that one is in my hands. This one is still in Carl's hands. So it's turn four. <laughs> oh my god. But we are I think Carl is now starting to run out of assets quite quickly here. Right. So Carl has he's actually gone into a shooting phase. This thing went and took a wound off that. And then these lads actually trammed all the way across there. And now he's gonna try and charge the fire prism. So basically, we're skipping right into his assault phase. Also, it's Cal's turn four. So Cal tried. With the trees in the way, he actually, unfortunately, failed to get into these guys here. Uh, this tank here. Um, so now it's basically going to be Bajorn. And he's going to be trying to do some clubber lines. <laughs> Take me out. So who's he attacking, sir? He's only got his base attacks now. Uh, yeah, I'll put two against the uh, warlord. Asmerman? Yeah. Okay, no problem. So, which one do you want to go first? To your warlord. Okay, well, he's not a warlord, but he's, he's a special character. Where's your warlord gone? Warlord, he's oh, past you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still over there. there. Still there, yeah, he's good. Ooh, two hits. Uh, strength is, uh, toughness is four on a phoenix lord. Twelve. Yeah, yeah. twos. <laughs> no. Ooh, uh, I think you can re-roll, can't you, for your weapon? Still, okay, wow, wow, the amount of times you've done that. Right, Minus so, four, D6 damage. no problem. It's a free up in one save. Yeah. So he's saved. Three uh, attacks against the infantry. All hit. Needing twos. Me all that one. Every time. Every man. time, Every wow. Time. Four up in one on those. Oh, I do lose two of those, though. It doesn't matter about the damage. I like one. They've gone. So Asriman then attacking back. Oh dear. T 
twos. I've done the guys. They failed. I always, always, <laughs> you roll five or six dice. It's always one, one, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> right. Need five or sixes. <gasps> Two sixes and a five. I will check the minus, but that will be 2d3 mortal wounds. So it's minus three and d3 damage. She's got three saves to do. Which didn't save any. So in actual fact, it's d3 damage from each, plus another d3 mortal wounds and d3 mortal wounds. So it's five d3. So I'm just going to roll my d3s. I roll them near Cal. So I've got three of them to start with. So that's three, four, five, six. They are d3. So six saves so far. And another two, six, seven, eight saves of five up required for Bajorn the Fell Handed. To be honest, every time you need high, you do quite well. It's when you need low that you don't. So. <laughs> Ooh. Nah, no, he has gone. Uh, does he explode? He does. Oh, yeah, you got to roll to see if he does. Oh. No. He's laid low by Asherman. So Asherman has laid Bajorn low, possibly fulfilling some form of rivalry from the Great Crusade there from all those times ago, because Asherman's been around a long time. <laughs> it's not the same person, but never mind. Right, I have this lot to contend with, because if Carl smashes all my guys down here, those two are dead, if he smashes all my guys down here with these Wolfen, I am game's over to be honest but we are going to go into my turn four and i'm going to see what i can do to him right my turn then i've tried to make a wall so he's got to go through it to be able to get to the objective and then these guys are making a defensive last stand by the looks i need to hold this objective i have moved these guys forward so they can see these and we did check line of sight with those they can actually see down into them so this is going to make it very interesting so First off, is these four snipers down into them there. I've done my psychic powers. They've got guide. They are doomed. So I do need freeze to hit. I, oh my god. I really needed that with the mortal wound in there. I need toughness four. I need force to wound with rerolls due to doom. So two armor saves so far. Two armor saves, sir. So, because the wound is actually on the guy with a thunder hammer, he has to take the first hit. So he's saved, and then the next one is saved. Flipping already. Right. <laughs> Those lads down there then needing fours with their snipers. Again, I'm rolling the sixes when it comes to hitting. I need the sixes when it comes to wounding. So far, two armor, one mortal. Two armor, one mortal. So again, one at a time for the armor. Storm shield. So storm shield fail. Five up. Feel no pain. So he dies, and then you've got a mortal wound on one of the models as well, which you can five up. Feel no. No. So that takes a wound onto somebody else. So this will depend on your saves now for future units. Is it going to be a frost axe? Is it going to be a thunder hammer? It's going to be another thunder hammer. The night wing. It vector striked against them. So I'm going to need twos on the whites for my shuriken and three for the bright lancers. Bright lancers are firing after the shuriken. It's going to go into these guys again. I get to re-roll the ones on the shuriken. Oh, bright lancers missed completely. But I did hit you with shuriken, which means I need um, freeze with re-rolls to be able to wound. And re-roll the fails. So four... Normal armor. Again, so it depends if you're going to be applying them onto storm shields. You've still got plenty of storm shields left yeah. if you want to do that. Freeze then, sir. Yeah, freeze. Go away. Shuriken cannon from the fire prism, and the fire prism cannon which stood still is going to fire the blast of these six shots into them twice. So, first off, a cannon. Two hits. Any freeze. Rerolling. So, yep. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, basically, you storm two saves then against your storm shields again, sir. That's a drop dice. There we go. And there you go. 2d6 shots for nine. Nine shots, needing freeze. 
Hitting freeze with reroll. I will check what the minus is. So he's putting him on the storm shield. He's already rolling. So feel no right, pain. Feel no pain. Nope. Right, so he dies. And is this going to go on to more storm shieldy guys? Or yeah. You've still got plenty left. Might as well do them all together then, sir. So one goes through. And then a five up feel note. Right, so basically he dies. And then another wound on the storm shield. Still not killing them. They are harsh. Shuriken cannon from there. Into these guys. Shuriken cannon needing threes. Rerolling ones. Needing three. Rerolling all fails. Only one save, sir. It's taking its time, this. Still, it's saved two Bright Lancers, needing fours. Two hits. Twos, two wounds. Right, one at a time then, sir, because these are D6 damage. So that one goes through, causes one wound, and he fails to feel no pain. So that will kill that one with one wound. <coughs> Second one slams in. Who is it going to hit? He's running out Storm Shields, which is a good thing. Is it a Storm Shield again? Yeah. Yeah, freeze. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Right, I've just shot both Dire Revenger units, one with Guide, into these with Doom, and I think I scored three wounds. That was like that, in yeah. insane. Yeah. Absolutely low dice. So low dice, it was it was silly. Right. <laughs> Let's go into Space Marines turn five. Pretty much, in his movement phase, he comes running through. Now he's going to charge him. So, because Carl's turn's not really going to be that long, we're going to... One, two, three... I think we've actually oh, looked at it. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely making sure this video is not for kids. <laughs> right, Overwatch then. Fives and sixes needed. Are you rolling any ones? I think I've scored more hits in Overwatch than they did while shooting. Oh my god! <laughs> Three wounds! I actually scored the same amount from their Overwatch as I did from them two shooting in the shooting phase. Three wounds, sir. Three ups. Five up. No, so the one with the wounded knee, because there was actually one with the wounded knee. No, there wasn't. You went, didn't it? Uh, you still had one, I'm sure, with a wound. There's no dice being left behind. No, I don't know if you picked it. Never mind. Um, right, okay. We're going to go with the Thunder Hammers first. He needs freeze because he's Space Wolves. He gets a plus one for the charge. And a plus one to the attack as well. So not a lot. Oh, not a lot. I was expecting more there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a two, yeah. But he does need twos to wound. Two. Twos to wound, mate. Six, seven. Were yeah. they twos? Or were they ones? One was a two, wasn't it? I think so. Definitely, yeah. Just add that. Okay. <laughs> two plus six. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just add I'm pretty sure one was tournament, a two, really. Tournament rules and everything tell you on this channel. Yeah, yeah, we'll just add that. We'll be right, we'll be right. Don't worry about it. That's what you get for playing with a casual player. Yeah. <laughs> Fours. Fours to... I am a casual player myself, if I'm honest. Four wounds. Which means that the extra will still be alive. Frost Axe is next. It's a lot of attacks with Frost Axe. Three on profile, yep. one for charging, one for Grey Frost Axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. To be honest, because of them spun down the Storm Shields, they really tanked some hits, these guys. Two's to hit. That was bad. That was dire. Strength, did you say it was eight? Uh, yeah. It's plus three. Do you get to re-roll? No, no. No, no. No, yeah, it's, it's the close. So that two does wound as well. So that's four wounds. How much damage? Minus three. How much damage? D3 damage each. D3 damage each, right. So I've got four up in run. Ooh! So one goes through. D3 damage. One. For one. He's still alive. <laughs> Frost claws. Oh yeah, forgot about the frost claws. Damn it! <laughs> Four attacks from the one sergeant. For charging, yeah, one for frost claws. So six attacks from the sarge. Two's to hit. Oh, sarge is making up for it. Uh, three what strength is it? Six. Two's to wound then, sir, with rerolls. 
I've got two dice in my hand and he's wounded six times. Right, he's dead. There we go. Easily done. So even with the three inch consolidation, he might be able to get a guy or two in. But their troops, they trump. Uh, so it's going to be my turn five and all I would need to do is nothing to draw the game. A very good draw, to be honest with you, Carl. I'd like to shake your hand on that one, sir. That was very good. Uh, for you, what was the unit of the game? I think those guys. Wolfen, 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 Wolfen did Wolfen really well. I absolutely love the yeah. stats. My, my unit of the game had to be the one that you killed because they literally turned up and just went, uh, that tactical squad, I think it should be uh, removed from the team. <laughs> With some psychic shenanigans. I suppose he did help. Farsia is always a good unit to have. Uh, I was surprised. Actually, I wasn't surprised with the casualty rate, simply because Carl, he's gone for a very elite, two squads of heavy elite in a 2,000 point army. We try and keep it as fluffy as we can, but not really. Big squads as well. Big squads Big as well, squad. mate, yeah. yeah. 20, 20 men of two wounds apiece is like 40 models. So they were big units, and I did manage to mess up the Terminators, but I didn't manage to mess up the Wolf, and the Wolf and really took it. Um, I think that that's why he killed the Warlock down there, because him his power of Jinx that would have actually really. I mean, the amount of freeze you rolled with them, if they would have been jinxed, it would have been yeah. possible curtains. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you do want to see more. Yay! Uh, I'm hoping to get more battle reports done, but this one's been a corker. I've really enjoyed this one. Um, it's a shame you get to see how long these videos are, because when you got to turn two, Carl was like, yep, I've won this one, <laughs> got it in the bag. And then it was like, nope, <laughs> I haven't won this one, damn it. And it just went back, especially this objective here, just went back and forth and back and forth. This one took by surprise by Terminators and deep striking units, but... He held it simply because I had nothing else to <laughs> really to halt to, to get onto it. And the snipers, surprisingly, I only lost one. Normally I lose all three squads, but there we go. Oh well. We will see you hopefully next Friday for more battle reports. Don't forget there's painting videos on Saturdays and there's random videos in the week when I because uh, I do work when I get round to be able to put them out. Hopefully there should be another top five. Uh, coming soon. Well, thanks again. We'll see you next time.